Welcome to The Breakdown. I'm your host, Diane Rumber, avid reader, award-winning literary blogger, and the founder of Diamonds Literary World, which is my footprint in the literary industry. Today, I want to talk to you about part two of the Best Frenemies Forever series by my girl, Miss Brenda Hampton. The ladies, the trifling ladies are back. Evelyn, Kayla, and Trina. Okay, when book one closed out, um, Trina, who was the bisexual friend, um, she was caring for her boyfriend, Keith. Um, the one who had been stabbed by her lesbian lover. Um, and Trina is now, you know, her and Keith have moved in together. Um, they are, you know, trying to, they're trying to make something of this relationship. But once again, here comes trifling Evelyn. Now I'm going to leave Evelyn for last and I'll tell you why. So Kayla, when we left off in book one, um, Kayla uh, got a call that her soon to be ex-husband Cedric um, was shot and so now she's going to see about him and her son. Now, Jacoby. They're trying to figure out who shot Cedric, if everything is going to be okay. The police are questioning Jacoby. Um, Cedric's secretary or receptionist, um, she eventually, um, she said that she did it. However, there is yet another big secret as to why she confessed to shooting Cedric. Um... You're not going to believe it when you read it. I was just like, okay, Brenda, you have me up yet again. You have me at 10 at 4 o'clock in the morning. I cannot put this book down because I have to know what exactly is going on. Which leads us to Miss Trifling Ass Evelyn. If you thought that Evelyn was bad in book one. Oh baby, you have not seen anything until you see Miss Evelyn in full effect in book number two. Evelyn, let me say this. She's still going after people's man. That's number one. But now she's including family members. Like how low can you go? Uh, but this particular family member had a surprise for Miss Evelyn. When she found out the surprise, um, she was shocked, as I guess most women would be. And she ran and told it. And this family member beat her to within inches of her life. I'm not going to tell you anymore. You just need to read this book. I will say that the after effects of that beating um, caused her and her friends to repair their relationship um, because they, at the end of the day, they were like sisters. Um, and so seeing her like that, nobody, not even me, like she was trifling, but Evelyn did not deserve that. Um, but just when her sisters had given her Forgiveness. Evelyn went and did the lowest of the low yet again. Again, you'll have to pick up this book because when I tell you you want to reach through the book, you want to grab her tonsils through her throat. You will not if you were not uh, someone who cussed, and I didn't say curse, I said cussed, 
then you will start cussing in this book. If you smoke cigarettes, you better have a pack of three ready. If you drink, you better have something to drink next to your bed or wherever your reading space is because you are going to need it for this here book. I don't think I've run across one like this in a while. Brenda Hampton, you know you my girl. You know you. my hat is off to you because when I thought you couldn't bring it anymore, you brought it with these three trifling heifers right here. Please go get this book. Please go get the series. And let me recommend do not get one without getting two and three. Because as soon as you close one, you are immediately going to want to know what happens and you're going to pick up book two. As soon as you're finished book two, you're going to be so in shock that you have to pick up book three. BFFs, part two. Best Frenemies Forever, part two. You know, forgive me for what I'm about to say, but best fucking friends, part two. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Go get this series. Um, You know, we have nothing but time on our hands right now because we are social distancing. Most of us are working from home. I, for one, I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm also working on a few projects. Take this time to create a project, um, keeping in mind that it takes 20 years to become an overnight success. My son told me something today that I want to share with you guys, and that is during the recession in 2008, I did not realize that Uber, Lyft, and there was another big name company had started at that time. And here we are 12 years later, benefiting from those companies. So, you know, your, your project... Your company may be the one that takes off and launches and may be the next big thing. So, with that being said, you know, there's nothing really out there in the street for anybody. You know, binge watch TV. I've been binge watching. Um, I've been reading a lot of reading. Um, I've been making more videos. And, you know, just spending time with, you know video chatting and, and on the phone here and there so with that being said thank you guys so much for taking the time to um share with me here thank you for watching the video thank you for leaving your comments thank you for subscribing to the channel if you have not done so already please take a moment to do so now so that you can be one of the first people to see when i put up the video for part three as well as a host of others um including the books behind me but i have so much more to bring you guys until next time happy reading and be blessed